Okay, so you just missed it and I can't even believe I saw it with my own eyes. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Seven forty nine AM. Good morning, Boo. Let me explain to you what just happened here because it was really kind of funny. So I just woke up and as I was waking up, Boo jumped on the bed. So he got a few minutes of pets, then he jumped off the bed. Then Simba jumped on the bed. So then Simba just got a bunch of pets. So then I got up and I came here into the living room and I put the TV on because I wanted to watch the weather channel for a minute and Boo was in the living room he was kind of only a few feet away from me well Simba walks into the living room and for no reason at all just starts like swatting at Boo in a nasty way so I was like Simba what's that about stop that so Simba gave Boo a dirty look then he walked away and Boo, oh my God, he was like, I could totally read his mind. He was like, how dare you swat at me? And he goes running after Simba down the hall, which then started Simba running down the hall. And then Boo came back and Boo's sitting here right now. And Simba's sitting here right now. And here's Stella, good morning, Stella. And there's Splash, good morning, Splash. I think part of Simba's issue with, I think part of Simba's issue with Boo might be like possessiveness over me. And I think that might be part of the issue with Stella and Boo also. They kind of just get jealous. I think maybe it's like a jealousy issue. What's going on here? What's going on here? We have Splash trying to get pets from Simba. And I don't know. Oh, Simba's eating. Simba's eating the cat grass. I've been just leaving the cat grass here on the ground and they've been doing a really good job keeping it trimmed down. It is 9 a.m. right now and the cats are eating their breakfast. Once again, I had to bribe Boo, but this time this is a full bag of the Pure Bites. And I only took like one or two little Pure Bites out and sprinkled it on, but then Simba wanted one so I gave him one too. Um, for breakfast, they're having the Primal Raw Venison Nuggets and the Stella and Chewies chicken nuggets so we'll see if they eat those chicken nuggets that's what boo vomited on the other day so it's good that all the other cats are eating because the more the other cats eat the less boo can eat and then overeat it is 12 45 p.m i just got home from running some errands this morning and i want to show you what i came back to and it's not boo okay boo this is boo but what I want to show you is not Boo. Okay, Boo, move over. Move over, Boo. I want to show you Hydrox. I want to show you how he's laying. He's laying like right near the back door, but kind of by the house. Oh, hello, Stella. Look at Hydrox. Look, he didn't run away. He's not scared. He's all stretched out. He's so happy that it's not raining right now. And that things are kind of drying out a little bit, right, Hydrox? Hydrox, did you eat your breakfast? Hydrox, I gave you food before. Did you eat it? Did you eat it? Hydrox, did you eat your food? Hmm? How you doing? You okay? You sleepy? You just want to hang out there? You could hang out there. And there is the food I gave him. It looks like he did not eat it at all, and if he did, he barely touched it. There's still plenty of dry food in the feeder. Well, that makes me think that either Hydrox has had some very successful hunts this morning, or he's finding food somewhere else. Okay, so I have been in and out of the back door several times now, and Hydrox has not run away. He hasn't really moved at all. I mean, he's just still hanging out here. I think he's too comfortable. He probably has a warm spot because I know that area stays warm, but it's not like it's cold out, so maybe he's just comfortable. Hello, Hydrox. How are you, Hydrox? Okay, I'll leave you alone. You a good boy? Why didn't you eat any breakfast, Hydrox? You're not hungry? Okay. 
All right, you hang out there. I'll see you later. It is mail time. I just got back from the post office, so let's open up these envelopes. This is the first one. Stella just arrived. She's sitting on the scratch and roll. Hello, Stella. What do we have in here? It's a really pretty card. Looks like it's handmade. This says, hello. Sorry this card couldn't be more, but I'm trying uh -huh, to stay on a budget and failing, hee <laughs> hee. Hope you, Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrax are all doing well. From Diane, AKA Dove Gray. Yes, you can show this. Well, thank you so much, Diane. That's very nice of you to uh, send a card to the cats. You really don't have to, but uh, it's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, that was very, very nice of you. Look, we have a Petco gift card. That is great because I just used up my last Petco gift card literally two days ago. So this will be awesome. This will be most likely used for next month's litter purchase. I just purchased three boxes of litter uh, with the last Petco gift card. Um, and that is what I will most likely use this for uh, next month also. So thank you so much for this. Look at this paper, look. It looks like Boo is on it. It says, why, who does this look like? One wonders, it's Boo, that's who. Oh, and here's Boo. He just came over to check it out. Hey, Boo. It says, oh my, but did I make a mess of the original envelope, oh me. Hope this card helps some, thanks for all you do, and for taking us along on your field trips, your pal Dove Gray. Awesome, thank you so much, uh, Dove Gray. Thank you so much for watching the videos, and thank you so much for your lovely notes and for your generous gift to the cats. It is very much appreciated, and I hope you have a great day also. Simba's watching from the cat tower. Okay, Boo's back. Okay, Boo. He wants to lay down on the mail. Boo. Boo. We can't lay down on the mail right now. Okay. I'm on a schedule. After I open the mail, I have to get to work. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Boo. What's in here? Is it something for you? Oh, wow. Look at that. It says, hi, LF Cat Mom. I made some fan art for your channel. Hopefully you like it. Chroma. Look at that cute cat. I'd love to be able to draw like that. That is so awesome. And look at this. Look at this. It looks like Boo and Stella and Simba. And Splash! And that looks like Hydrox. And it's signed Chroma. Look how cute. It says, Stella is really funny. And then it has the subscribe pillow. It looks like they're sitting on a sofa. That is so great, Chroma. I am going to put this in a frame and I am going to hang it up in Boo's room. Or maybe I'll hang it up downstairs where the cats are. But I'm definitely going to frame this and put it on the wall. So thank you so much for this really awesome fan art. It looks just like the cats. That is so cool. Stella is still watching. Hello, Stella. How are you? Okay, here we go. Let's open this one also. What's in here? Splash just showed up. He's about 10 feet away, but he still just showed up. This says, hi Lucky, it's not much, but I really love to watch your videos. I was wondering if you cut your cat's nails. Mine bites if I try, from Sarah. Belgium. Uh, Sarah, I try to cut the cat's nails also, and yeah, 
Sometimes they try to bite me and sometimes they try to scratch me and that's why I'm not very successful with cutting their nails most of the time. Um, every now and then, if they're really sleepy, uh, they do let me cut their nails, but that I would say maybe like that's very rare. Um, I would like to be able to cut them better, but they don't like the sight of nail clippers. And um, yeah, sometimes I've even tried to file their nails and I've had a little bit of success with that, but they, uh, they don't like it. And here we have a bag of Instinct Raw Boost Mixers. That is so great. So this is exactly the kind of stuff that the cats are eating now that they're off crunchies. So right now we're in the middle of our second week without crunchies. They've gone a week and a half without crunchies. And this is basically the kind of stuff that I've been replacing the crunchies with, with like freeze dried raw food, um, or just, you know, like dried food. And um, yeah, so this is so great. It's absolutely perfect timing for the cats to get this. So now, like tonight, um, I'm gonna open this up and this is what they're gonna get um, as their treat instead of crunchies. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching the videos. 9.30 p.m. And I just got home. And I'm feeding the cats. And Boo was eating. Boo, go back to eating. But all of a sudden he stopped eating and I don't know why. So um, they're getting primal raw venison nuggets, primal raw turkey and sardine nuggets, and uh, some of the Stella and Chewy's chicken morsels. Uh, because I was at the end of the bags on the primal raw. So they're just getting a mix of things. And Simba loves putting his tail in food. I don't know why. It's 9.39 p.m. I just came upstairs and I looked out the back door. And those baby raccoons, like they've gotten a lot bigger. I think that's one of the babies in the feeder. It's hard to see. And I want to open the door because it'll scare them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the babies. And the security camera should be on, so I'll check the security camera later and see what it caught. <laughs> I just heard what sounded like a cat vomiting, but it's not Boo, because Boo's here in the kitchen with me. And it doesn't look like it's Stella, because Stella's just sitting there. Maybe it was Splash. 
most likely it was splash so um yeah it looks like they left some food for boo but for some reason boo doesn't want to eat them there okay so maybe it wasn't splash maybe it was simba uh because i think this is it on the rug and to me it looks like maybe it's from overeating so here's what i'm thinking also so the last time boo puked all that food in the living room or at least i think it was boo um it was after they ate the stella and chewy's chicken morsels and they just had stella and chewy's chicken morsels for dinner so i'm thinking there's something in that food that is not agreeing with them oh my gosh and there's more here also are you telling me two cats vomited so there's cat vomit here, like a massive amount of cat vomit here. And there's cat vomit here. So that definitely makes me think uh, two of the cats are sick. However, this cat vomit actually looks like it could have been sitting here for a while. And not to sound gross, but it's like drier than the other cat vomit. Boo. Boo, stay out of there. And this cat vomit is like wetter and fresher, so it could be, it could be Splash for both of these. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I don't remember if it was earlier for breakfast today or if it was yesterday, but I remember commenting on how fast Splash was eating and that he was just eating way too fast. Um, so that makes me think both of these vomits are from Splash and it makes me think that the reason why is because he just ate too fast. Um, I don't know why he's eating fast, but maybe it has to do with eating down here. Maybe it has to do with eating with Boo. Um, because it's only been very recently that I've been feeding them down here again. I was feeding them upstairs, in which case Splash always hangs back. He eats last, he eats slower. Um, but down here, he just gobbles. So, um, that's my theory. So that means tomorrow they're eating upstairs again. Okay, so you just missed it, and I can't even believe I saw it with my own eyes. So I gave Boo the rest of the food, the food that was left over, and I brought the food upstairs. And then Boo still didn't want to eat it, so I took just a little bit of a freeze-dried nugget and kind of sprinkled it on top. And that is what he's eating now. He's pretty much mostly eating the freeze-dried nugget off the top or little bits of it. But anyway, so like Simba was just here, but as Simba was here, Simba rubbed up against Boo. And because Boo's eating, Boo didn't realize what was going on. But I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. Like Simba walked here, he rubbed up against Boo because Simba still wants to eat some food for some reason. And Boo let him do it. But the reason why is because Boo's eating. And when Boo's eating, he tends to be very like singular in his focus because when I want to put a harness on Boo, all I have to do is give him something to eat. Like if I give him some crunchies, I could do anything I want to do. I could put a harness on him. I could put a leash on him. I could do anything and he doesn't mind. So when Simba rubbed up against him, he probably didn't even know what was going on. It is 10.30 p.m. right now and I saw the motion detector light go on outside on the patio and I was like, oh, I wonder who that is. And I look outside and Hydrox is sitting by the greenhouse and he's looking at the window. So when I was looking outside, he was kind of looking at me. So I'm going to put some food together for him because I got back late and it was already after dark and I did not give him dinner. Now he had plenty of dinner to eat out of the feeder, but just in case he wants some other dinner, I'm giving him half of a can. I just came out to give Hydrox the food and there was a skunk eating out of the feeder. Oh my gosh, and then the skunk ran past Hydrox to the back of the yard. Hydrox, here's your food. Can you see him in the distance? He's sitting by the greenhouse, so I'm gonna put this over here. Hydrox. I'm putting Hydrox's food out here. Hydrox, go eat your food, okay? So there's Hydrox's food. Now it could be that he's not hungry and it could be that he doesn't want to eat. It could be that he just wants to hang out on the patio because he saw that I was home. Or it could be that he's hanging out with some of his wildlife friends. I don't know what the situation is, but he has food. I just gave Boo a little bit of the canned food because he wasn't eating anything else tonight, really. And I put his herbs on it. The real reason why I gave him the canned food is because he needed to get his herbs. And uh, if I put the herbs on the canned food, he'll 
he'll get them that way. And then because Stella was pacing around looking for food, I gave her also a little, little bit of the canned food because she already ate. But they've been eating pretty well together. I don't want to jinx anything. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.